Oh, hello. In today's uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, manipulate uh, individual um, text. Okay, so we can just extend it or rotate individual letters or even do sort of like, uh, you know, special effects. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is open up Illustrator and we go to New. Then you need to choose your text tool, draw a box, um, and then decide which font you're going to use. So if you don't want to use the font that's there, just choose one. And then write in your text, highlight, and then see where it says the points here. Um, you'll need to know, and it, it can take you up to about 72 points, but actually this needs to be about 200 really. So I'm just going to put in 200 points and I'm going to click anywhere, okay? And uh, that will increase it. Now, uh, what you need to do is then go onto the black arrow and click on type, create outlines, click on the white arrow, and then if you double click, so just click on that. If you double click on one of the boxes, it becomes its own individual little uh, character, and then you can obviously you know, make that bigger or drag it or whatever you want to. So, for example, if we double click on here, on one of the boxes here, and extend it, okay. and double clicking and dragging. And then we can to put it back into position and then if you want to uh, select this one you double click on a box you can move it out of the way and then you double click here I'm now single clicking um, on the corner boxes. So double click to um, isolate uh, each of the, you know, so if you double click on, on one of the letters, you'll be able to just um, isolate that letter and move it. And then you can single click on the boxes um, to then start to manipulate. Now, if you, obviously the, the little boxes come up um, in their own place, but if you want to add extra, if you go to your arrow tool, See add anchor point, and that gives you more little anchor points to move. Back to the white arrow. Okay. And then you can manipulate uh, each individual one, and then. Again, double click on the white arrow, double click, isolate it, and to move it. If you want to uh, rotate it um, or uh, spin it around, if you see this will either be the reflect or the rotate tool, but that's your rotate tool here.
Okay, so the, um, let's double check on this one actually, back to, in the one I showed you earlier, it had that kind of, um, sort of, a crystallized effect on it. So that is just one of the tools that are here. You just gotta find uh, which one. Let me just check, I think it's in here. Okay, so you got things like width tool, twirl, and you know, crystallize and wrinkle, but I use the crystallize tool. And then I clicked. So I'm just putting my, I'm just, um, center of the brush and I mean it's difficult to control you wouldn't um, you wouldn't use it for everything I just thought it'd be quite it was quite interesting for the freeze tool because you just looked like you know sort of crystallized ice or something but it's um it's quite tricky Um, and just put my mark out there as well. So you can see you can do lots and lots of really creative things with tax, and also, um, there we go, isolate that one. You know, you can change, start changing the colors. Um, and you know each individual one as well. So there we go. And then if we click on that tool, I might just change that color to there. Um, and I said that's how you actually. Um, uh, isolate and uh, manipulate uh, text. Okay, uh, and that's it. That's the end of the tutorial.